You know, the strangest thing about these herbal remedies is that even though so many of us as Jamaicans, especially women, attest to the healing properties and experiences, there is still no scientific research to support our claims. So personally, I've experienced the healing benefits of these three herbs, Guinean weed, blue vervain, and inflammation weed, also known as dog blood. So prior to having my last child, I passed out what appeared to be a very small fibroid after drinking the tea intermittently for a couple mornings. Then being pregnant with the same last child, I learned from an ultrasound that I still have two small fibroids on my left side. No. I'm not going to wait until these get any bigger, and so I'm taking my health into my own hands. To you my valued viewers, several of you have asked how I prepare this tea, but please be mindful that when it comes to herbs, a lot of us Jamaicans rely on oral traditions, and so brewing these teas become a matter of guessing and spelling. So please be mindful that I'm not a doctor, but I have evaluated my own risk. And so if you have a similar challenge, remember to check with your practitioner. So some of the side effects of taking this tea includes, please see description for the link to the video that shows you exactly what these herbs look like. I will be drinking the tea in the first instance for 7 mornings or in the evenings depending on how I feel. I will give it a break and resume for another month or two depending on the results and I will definitely follow up with my hot seats using these same herbs or perhaps salt again depending on how I feel once per month. Now that's it for this video, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.